the last thing I want to do is get out of my bed right now. One, because I'm too comfortable, but also I hate the feeling when you've been laying or sitting down for too long and then you get up. It's a dangerous game when you get up. Okay. Let's go. Good. First things first. We make our bed. Ignore that matcha from yesterday. That's embarrassing. I'm clean, I swear. Done. We have stuff. To do we got laundry to do we got more laundry to do I literally did drop up pickup yesterday for tampons and pads and I have yet to put them in the bathroom I'm gonna be honest with you guys I can be so lazy especially on my period but like on any given day sometimes I'm just like do I really need to like do my whole morning routine like do i really have the energy for it right now but i always preach morning routines are so important and they're even more important when you're not feeling good because it is something that after you do it you're gonna feel more accomplished but you're also just gonna feel like better and more put together and like ready for the day just a little bit more even if you still feel like shit you know hence my skims pajamas i still love my harry styles t-shirt like don't get me wrong but i want to change out of what i wore to bed to still pajamas like still comfy clothes but something a little more cute a matching set it's comfy it's clean that's important because the last thing i want to do right now is like put on normal clothes but i also don't want to wear my pajamas i just slept in so this is where we're at look at that we're feeling better already hello sunscreen because I hate to break it to you guys we are gonna end up leaving the house today like I don't I wish it wasn't true but it's happening I already feel so much better I hate to break it to you guys but like it's so easy to just lay in bed it's so easy to like not do the things that you know are good for you and like take care of yourself that's when you need to do them the most and that's when it's gonna make you feel the best I didn't want to get out of bed I didn't want to wash my face but now that I did so I'm like I'm proud of myself and now I feel ready to like do more things and start the day. And I'm pretty sure you know what's next on the agenda. <laughs> I'm using Peak Matcha today. I shared with you guys this brand before. This is their Sun Goddess Matcha. And I love that they come in individual packets. So they're already like pre-measured out. You can take them on the go. I always tell people to drink matcha when you're on your period because uh, there's so many benefits to it. One, matcha has an amino acid in it called L-theanine, which relaxes your muscles. So it helps with period cramps. They're also filled with antioxidants that help with like muscle aches, um, also help with inflammation. Peak Matcha also has chlorophyll in it. So that could help with like clarity and helps with your skin too so there are just so many benefits to drinking matcha not only every day but also especially when you're on your period also the caffeine that's in matcha gives you that like steady energy throughout your day so it helps you actually be able to like do things especially when you have like a busy day you want to like be easy on yourself but you also need to like get things done matcha is going to be your best friend what's also going to be your best friend is peaks bt fountain beauty electrolytes so these are filled with hyaluronic acid and ceramides i add these to my water both of these are vegan non-gmo gluten-free all the things um i first saw cat use these i was using their matcha for a while and i didn't know that they had these packets as well but basically this helps with like skin hydration helps create like a dewy glow to your skin look how gorgeous these look together like the pink and green 
that's why they actually go together as the Radiant Skin Duo. So if you guys want to get your own, then you can click the link in my description, get 15% off and free shipping on your Radiant Skin Duo. And then we can have the most beautiful looking skin while also feeling our best. I love adding supplements like this into my like daily water, my daily matcha, that are just little things that I know are going to be good for me and make me feel good. So thank you so much, Peak, for sponsoring today's video. And I need to go sit down. <laughs> I know I just had two iced beverages, but really the best thing to have on your period, like foods, are warm foods, and oatmeal is top of the list. The fact that it's warm and then you can put it on your stomach feels so good. It's a meal and a heating pad, all in one. This one has almond butter, blueberries, maple syrup. And I have a little friend here. Hi, Kiki. Friends are also good while you're on your period. That's right, Netflix to top it all off. What should we watch? I didn't prepare for this period and I already watched literally like perfect match. I watched your place or mine. I watched love is blind, Georgia Jenny. I watched you. I did not prepare. Oh, I haven't watched this. Okay. You people. There you go. First off, where do these tits come from and can they stay? Also, you guys aren't gonna like me right now. You're not gonna like what I have to say right now, but we're gonna go to the gym. I know the last place we wanna be right now is at the gym and honestly, you could do this at home. It's literally just moving your body, but I wanna go to the gym. Like the gym is one of my safe spaces and I really wanna walk on the treadmill, go in the sauna and just like get some movement in that way. And I don't really think a lot of people are gonna be at the gym right now, or at least I'm hoping, we're gonna feel good. Also, why are my legs so itchy? I made another matcha. It's a long day, okay? I need it. Use the gym in whatever way you need to for however you're feeling. Like today, I just want to walk a little bit, stretch a little bit, sit in the sauna, but sometimes I wanna come here and I want to like really push myself and lift a lot of weights. That just is like how I'm feeling that day. So it's just listening to your body. Literally when I walk on the treadmill when I'm on my period, I waddle like I'm pregnant. Like I rub my belly. I just like have these long strides and I rub my stomach. Like people probably think I'm pregnant and that's okay, like totally fine with that. But yeah, it's just what feels comfortable for some reason. And it's also like really soothing. So highly recommend. heels on what's going on why are you not in sweatpants like laying on the couch although i would love to do that we need to get going guys i said we're gonna slay on our period like we're not gonna let it get in the way of our day we could still look hot and menstruate like it's both are on the agenda today i have my nana's birthday brunch to go to and honestly like i really don't need to like get ready like that ready for this i can go casual or whatever but like when have we ever when have we ever? Someone gives me plans, like I'm going to use it as an excuse to get ready and look good. All right, ready? I changed my shirt because I thought I was gonna get cold in the other one because it's quite chilly outside. I got my present bobo. I don't have any tissue paper and I don't have time to go get any. Oh, it's all right, it's the thought that counts, right? Right? Okay, let's go. I need to unbuckle my pants. I am so full. Oh my gosh, you guys saw those desserts. Like I had to eat every single one of them. They were so good and I was craving something sweet. So that, that hit the spot. We ate at Charlie's Trio, which if you guys haven't heard before, um, it's actually my family's restaurant. My uncles own it. And it's literally some of my favorite food ever. So if you are in the Pasadena, Alhambra area, go try it out. But I am exhausted. You know, I had fun putting a little something something on and now I'm ready to take it all off. A part of me, since I'm already out and I'm like 
already done up. I'm like, where are we going? Like, should we go do something? Should we, anyone got any plans for us? But I know that the second I decide to do anything but go home and get into bed, I'm gonna be absolutely exhausted because I feel it. I feel it settling in, like how tired my body is and I just have like low energy. So going home is the, it's the right move. It's the thing to do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, one, I look terrifying, but I've literally just been laying in bed for like the past hour and a half scrolling on TikTok. Um, loving every second of it. But I was like, I'm literally filming a video. Like I, this is boring. I need to like do something. So this is me doing something. Also, gonna watch Netflix. something in my mouth. I'm using this um, Charlotte Tilbury cryotherapy mask and you put it in the freezer for like 30 minutes and then you put it on and it's supposed to like <laughs> like does it work? I don't know. I don't know but does it it feels good honestly it really does it feels like so cooling and it feels like my face is getting a hug you know and I feel like I needed that boys are lying boys are lying he doesn't see you do, 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 do. A lot of people ask me like where I got my red lights from. Just my red. <laughs> this is a little scary. My red light bulbs. I just got them on Amazon. They're called like smart bulbs. Okay, I need it. <laughs> We're scaring the children now. We are. I just wanna rah, 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 buddy, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stop telling guys that I dated on my YouTube channel because then they're gonna find videos like this and it's not gonna end well for me. I am so exhausted and my bed is so comfy and I feel like a good night's rest is exactly what I need. I'm gonna go to sleep, but I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. I wish I could just snap my fingers and things could be done. I wish I could just be like, okay, laundry, make my bed. Um, I'm so sorry about that.